Hey, Andrew here at Shop 2020 with Chip of Unity Tactical, and you got all kinds of new goodies for us. Tell us about it. Thanks, man. Yeah, so uh, new for this year, we're jumping off our fast mount series that's uh, become incredibly popular over uh, 2019, and we're basically expanding that. So uh, our flip to center magnifier mount was one of the, the hottest things that, that we launched last year, and uh, we're expanding that into the EOTech line. Last year, we only had the aim point 30 millimeter tube. Well, the uh, standard SOCOM issue G33 magnifier mount from, uh, or magnifier from EOTech essentially does the same thing. So flips down, it's not gonna occlude your sight picture, flip it up, same detent, forced overcome mechanism as the aim point magnifier for uh, our fast series. Um, we also have our hot buttons. Hot buttons are actually in production right now. We kind of teased them a little bit last year, and uh, this year they're actually going to be shipping after the show. So hot button, uh, I pretty much think, is going to change the face of light and laser control. Uh, essentially, it's two smaller attachment points. You're going to have your M lock, and you're going to have the Picatinny, so really whatever kind of uh, weapon setup you've got, you're going to be able to have a tighter and uh, uh, more accurate control over your lights and lasers. So in this case, I've got two M-Lock hot buttons, one that's going to control the light, one's going to control the laser. As you can see, it's at a 45 degree angle, so a little bit more ergonomic press because if you got something mounted off to the side, trying to do this with your thumb is kind of a no-go. It's it's. Uh, Something that physiologically, Put your yeah, knuckle at a weird angle. Yeah, you're 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 not really wanting to be able to press that way. Uh, but with a 45 degree, you can kind of do a forward press. So here we've got momentary, and you can click it for constant on. These are 6061 T6 aluminum mil spec Type 3 hard coat anodized. So you know they're going to take a beating. We're making these for uh, Surefire tail caps, standard NATO crane style laser plugs, so like your PEC 15s, D balls, Maul, uh, the the Raid X from B. Uh, I'm sorry, the Raid X from Wilcox. Um, pretty much anything that's going to take that NATO plug. And then we also make them for the Streamlight HLX weapon light. So uh, nine inch cables are standard. Uh, on the Streamlight, we're doing seven inch, but you know you can always kind of shore up more cable, but you can't really make more if you got to yeah. get things around your yeah. lasers or other devices. So you can do you know one M lock. You can do uh, an M lock and a uh, and a Picatinny. If you just have one device, hot button is really the way to go. So it's direct mount, you're using hardware, so no more Velcro or electrical tape or all the zip ties, trying to keep all that stuff some, on there. There's some like plastic clippy mounts that like right, the switch right. fits in there, but if you if something yanks on that cable, it's coming out of that. Exactly. You're you're using in this case like direct metal hardware, you know, M lock uh, screws and and uh, uh, nuts and then you know obviously rail grabber for the Picatinny. Yeah. We've also designed, as you've probably seen in our TAP series, our own plug. So our Surefire style plug actually has a 45 degree angle bend in the strain relief. Nice. So essentially yeah. you're kicking that, that cable back to the gun and, uh, and not creating that, that larger loop. You always have a little bit of, uh, of cable but until everything's completely wireless and technology's you know just not there yet but uh, helping out a little bit. We've also redesigned the crane style plug here for NATO spec lasers. Uh, one of the issues that we ran into predominantly uh, with, with a lot of the big names is one company's gonna make one you know, plug, their version of the plug, another company's gonna make another version of the plug, and then you're like, okay, well, will they be cross compatible? Uh, not really, you know, one, one's gonna be a little bit too tight, one's gonna be a little bit yeah. too loose. So, you know, we didn't like that Goldilocks solution, so we actually redesigned the geometry to be a lot more universal. So this plug is actually a lot better. You get a nice positive pop into the socket whether you're going from D-Ball or uh, AP All Pec 15s, uh, the Mall or, or the Raid X, I mean, it it's really nice and and gives you a, a, a nice assurance that it's actually seated. So and it does take a lot more force to, to pull out. Excellent. So that's uh, pretty much new for uh, for for these fast mounts and uh, for these hot buttons. And we've also got a few others. Also new for 2020 is gonna be the uh, the fast LPVO mount series. We're gonna be doing these in 30 and 34 mil. Uh, basically, again, like all the other fast mounts, we're gonna be raising the optic up a little bit higher. 
But where the real magic of this is, because if you like Unity products, you know, <clears throat> you know that we're actually really thinking through a lot of the other problems that come along with optic placement and things like that. When you've got your offset backup red dot, one of the issues is that that dot is going to be either too low or it's going to be hanging off the side uh, quite a bit or it's a completely separate mount. So we've added in modular offset capability. So we're going to make all of these different uh, footprints for the most popular optics out there. The you know, RMRs, the Aimpoint Micro and uh, Acros, Delta Points, the Vortex, you know, all the, the most popular MRDS systems. But we put that angle at a 35 degree instead of a 45 degree. So it's not going to be sticking out as much. It's going to be a lot tighter in. So when you're transitioning from here to here, it's a lot faster, but you know, no pun intended. But, uh, but it's also going to snag a lot less. It, exactly. It's going to uh, snag less, and then at the same time, we've raised it up because we're raising the main optic up. And what that's actually going to do is allow you to clear the B.E. Myers Mall. The mall is becoming increasingly popular. Um, one of the things, though, about it is that the mass that it has off the side, that's kind of the worst case scenario. And right now, there aren't any uh, or, or very few offset uh, um, mini red dot systems that will clear this. So if you clear the mall, you'll pretty much clear just about anything. Gotcha. So in this case, you know, as you can see, we've got a mall DA here, just going from here to here, and it's going right over the top of the optic, or right over the top of the laser. All right, so what do we have here? All right, so right here is a new version of TAPS, actually the new version of TAPS Sync. Uh, we released this past year, Tap sync where you got one button that fires one device and another button that fires both devices simultaneously. Well, what we've done here is a Viz override. Now, it is a little limited by the technology that it's going to be hooked up to. In this case, we've got the Wilcox RAID X. It's a digital system just like the NGAL from uh, L3. So those two units, we can actually do the Viz override. This is not going to be something that's available for PEC-15s and D-balls and all that because they're not digital systems. So this is going to right now have a little bit more of a military and law enforcement application simply because you're not going to get NGALs and uh, RAID Xs for civilians. But I know a lot of my brothers and sisters in uniform watch these videos, so I kind of want to show them some of the new new. So in this case, as you can see, I've got the laser set mechanically in the IR spectrum. So this first button here, we're going to be lighting up the back here, showing you that's actually doing something, but we can't see it because night vision, right? Well, this button here, you can see on the table, I've got my green and my white light. So I'm getting viz override, even though mechanically, we're still in IR. Gotcha. So, so no, matter, no matter what position this switch is in, you're going to get visible light and laser. With that's this correct. Awesome. That's correct. So, and this, just in case, I don't know whether these cameras pick it up, but sometimes cameras will pick up IR. So if you guys are seeing IR you're, and you're like, "What is he talking about?" It, that's because we can't see it, but the camera might be able to. Ain't technology grand. <laughs> So this is something that we're going to be uh, putting together for military and uh, law enforcement applications simply because of what type of units we've actually got here. Uh, again, this is not a technology that we're going to be able to apply to PEC-15 APPIALs and D-balls and all that and older technology. It's got to be a digital laser system like the, the RAID and like the NGAL. Okay, so what do we have here? So this is Atom 2.0. Atom was actually the original product for Unity Tactical back in 2012, and uh, we kind of figured it was time to, to remake it and take it to the next level. So just like uh, Atom 1.0, we'll be doing Glock 17 and Glock 19 slides, um, but uh, we're also going to be opening up to the SIG P320 and doing a Unity Tactical slide for that. Cool. Atom, if you're familiar with the system, is essentially a modular optic system, so you're not marrying your optic to the gun. So, uh, you know, you send your stuff off to custom shops, you have it uh, set up for an RMR or a Delta Point or whatever, you're now marrying that slide forevermore to that optic. And next year, someone else comes out with the new hotness and you're like, oh man, I really wanted to use that, but uh, I've got my thousand dollar milled out slide here and it's only set up for the old yeah. one. Yeah, so, because, because the footprint of these various different um, RMR or Acro or whatever site, exactly. that footprint's different on every one. So, so we have uh, interchangeable mounting plates? Exactly. So our mounting plates, 
have different footprints for different mini red dot systems. And basically, that's going to be uh, you know your aim points, your your trigicons, vortex, uh, loopholes, hollow sun, pretty much everything out there that's in popular use. And uh, these plates will attach directly to the um, uh, to the slide with no bolted joints, so we don't have that that problem where recoil is going to start loosening up screws, and you're going to start having plates flying off and optics flying off and things like that. So essentially, the plate works just like this. We've got two non-concentric cuts. Uh, we left this uncoated just to draw attention yeah. to it. Uh, but two non-concentric cuts here that uh, key in on the plate with a little key here. You're going to go in from the side and you're going to just rotate it in. And from there you'll be able to take a rubber mallet or uh, you know a side pusher or something like that and fully lock it in. Yeah. And then at that point, you'll be able to drop our tapered set screw through that hole, which goes into that divot right there, and it's going to keep it from rotating. So, but all, this, the, all the forces are on this mounting lug here, exactly, not on that screw. Exactly. So everything is pretty much transverse mounted. So that's going to give you a lot more security. This is actually one of the most secure. Uh, and straight mounting systems as far as uh, mini red dot modularity on pistols. That's awesome. So, but you know, it's Unity Tactical, so there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. So, this is an open license, and essentially what that means is if you're an OEM or a custom shop or something like that, you can actually sign up with Unity Tactical and become a, a licensed Atom partner. And uh, you send so the CAD files, and they start exactly. So awesome. just like MLock, you'll be able to offer that to your customers. We supply the plates, which are going to be you know steel nitride plates, and essentially you're going to be able to cut that into any slide on almost any striker fired pistol design. Right now, there's only one striker fired uh, fired design that Adam 2.0 is not compatible with. That's the XD series from Springfield. But almost okay. everything else, you're going to be good to go. So this is actually an example of one of those uh, Adam partners. So uh, Boresight Solutions uh, down in Florida, they're one of our licensed partners and uh, we sent this slide. This uh, is actually a factory Glock 45, started life as a factory Glock 45, sent it down to, uh, to Boresight. They gave it the, their full swine treatment and cut in Adam 2.0 and uh, you know, good to go. So you don't have to buy one of our factory slides, especially, you know, maybe you got like a, a Glock that's not a, a 17 or a 19, um, or in this case, uh, maybe you've got a Smith & Wesson M&P, or you've got HK or CZ or Walther or any of those. So uh, it's pretty much gonna be universal and the same plates that you're gonna be using for uh, for the Glocks are going to be used for you know every other make and model out there. Awesome. This is, this is pretty thin, so you're not cutting into the slide very far. Correct. Uh, it's got an integral. Do they all have the integral uh, rear sight? Exactly. So in uh, Atom 1.0, the, uh, the actual um, uh, rear sights were set up on the, the actual slide. In this case, we're integrating them into the actual plate. We'll be able to do rear or forward mounted uh, irons. Will it be available with different height? Uh, the plate height uh, for, the, for those irons are going to be um, basically based on whatever optic it's going with. So you will be okay, able to co-witness yeah. through, uh, through the actual optic. Because and then, obviously some of these sights sit quite a bit higher on the slide than... Correct. Than and then you'll use suppressor height front sight blade and you're good to go. Sweet. That's, that's pretty slick. I, uh, I think I might have to do that. Well, I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one of the things that, uh, that, that you probably noticed if you've been keeping up with industry news is that the OpsCore AMP headset and communication system has been winning pretty much all the special operation contracts. It is pretty much the new hotness when it comes to comms and hearing protection. But from the factory, it's really only going to be used on OpsCore Arc Rail. Uh, well, there's a lot of police departments out there and, and military units in the soft command that are not running OpsCore helmets, but they're, they're already invested. In exactly, they've got thousands and thousands of dollars invested in Team Wendy or MTech or whoever. So one of the products that we're doing this year 
is our platform adapter. That's kind of a working title, but we're probably going to end up just going with it at this point. But essentially what that's going to do is adapt the OpsCore uh, amp helmet mount system to non-OpsCore helmets. So, you know, it's uh, going to be one of those things that you're going to get all the same functionality out of the OpsCore helmet mount that mounts to the, the back of the rail but just now available for Team Wendy or uh, M-Lock design rails, so uh, M-Tech, Hardhead Veterans, et cetera. So awesome. these are basically just like little backer pieces, and I apologize, but you can't see them once they're installed no. <laughs> uh, because they're actually behind the rail, but it's gonna give you the ability to solidly lock on that helmet mount. Sweet. Well, Chip, thank you for your time. Thank uh, you. The obvious questions that everybody has, when, when can I buy it? and how much does it cost? I understand that some of the things that we talked about today are still in a prototyping phase and you can't really comment on exactly what it's gonna cost or when it's gonna be, but as best you can tell me, can you give me an idea of when some of these things will be available and what they'll cost? Well, we actually look at SHOT Show the way that SHOT Show was originally intended as a, here's the products that we're working on, uh, here's you know what dealers and distributors can order and expect for this year. Uh, we, uh, you know, we're, we're a small shop and uh, essentially, you know, before last year, not a lot of people really knew who we were. And then starting in 2019, we, you know, we kind of dropped the fast mounts and did that proverbial mic drop and everyone was like, oh my God, you know, who are these guys? And we've gotten a lot of attention in 2019. So we're, you know, we're growing and we're trying to do it smart. Um, and we're not trying to just throw a whole bunch of uh, machines into the shop and, and uh, you know, we, we want to do this right. So, so what you're saying is you're you're not planning to announce a bunch of stuff, exactly. rush it to market, exactly. and make it all broken. One of the things that we really pride ourselves on is having thoughtful design and uh, making it really useful to the end user. Awesome. So essentially, uh, these are products that we're working on for this year. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be letting our customers know and the market know as we get closer, like, hey, remember what we, uh, what we showed you at SHOT Show, that yeah. uh, fast LPVO or, you know, the platform adapters, things like that. You know, it's it's coming. It's, so it's coming part, soon. Probably this year for most of these things, but but stuff happens. And, Absolutely. And you, there may be some stumbling blocks in the. In the Absolutely. We'll be seeing uh, the hot buttons. They're literally, um, as we speak, putting them together at the shop. So those are shipping right after SHOT Show. Cool. Um, we've got Atom 2.0 that, you know, we're definitely going to be seeing this year. Um, and uh, we're, we're kind of taking everything slow, make sure that we do it right. Awesome. Well, Chip, thank you for your time and thank, thank you, you for tolerating me. If, if those guys want to know more, where should they go? Uh, you can get all of our information on our Instagram page um, at, uh, at Unity Tactical or go to our website at unitactical.com. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to be at a lot of other booths, so stay tuned. I love you.